Today we're going to continue our class with a new chapter, ARM Assembly Language Programming. ARM is using the RISC architecture, which stands for Reduced Instruction Set Computers. So we're going to learn the basic how its instruction work, and primarily we are going to focus on Cortex M ARM processor. At the end of this course, you should able to learn how to develop some simple program using ARM assembly language. Before we go deep into the programming parts, it is important for us to understand the fundamental of the ARM instruction set architecture. In general, the processor can store or obtain data from two locations, which is the registers or the memory. There are a total of 16 registers exposed to user. The register has a size of 32 bits. Registers are labeled with R0, R1, R2, R3, up to R15. However, R15 is used for program counters, R14 is used for link registers, and R13 is used as a stack pointer according to the data sheet. Don't worry about them first, we will go into the detail on those in the future video. R0 to R7 is called lower registers, and R8 up to R12 is called upper register. Now let's look at Cortex M memory space. Cortex M's memory has full 32 bit address, start from 0x 0000000000 up to 0x FFFFFFFF. These memory space are used to store your codes, data, and also input output. With this 32-bit address, we can get up to 4 GB of memory location. Memory address are byte addresses, means its unique address is used for a byte location. For a byte or 8-bit, each memory location can hold value from 0xff up to 0xff. Or in decimal, 0 up to 255. The basic memory map is already predefined by ARM, but we can ignore it first at this moment. In summary, there are two data storage in ARM processors, which is the registers and the memory. The registers are given a name start with alphabet R, R0, R1, R2, R3, and so on. Each register can hold up to 32-bit data. The memory instead are identified in the form of an address, and each memory location can hold up to 8-bit data.